in three very different directions, but they were hit with the same swing. And that's why that one went to the target. That's as good a drill as I've got to stop the shank. Sit, be a good girl. Okay, got it. I've been teaching a long time, 38 years as a matter of fact, and a lot of things have changed in that time. The way clubs are made, how golf balls are made, but one thing that hasn't changed is everybody still wants to hit the ball a little bit more distance. Everybody wants a bit more power, and that's what this DVD is all about. I'm going to give you five chapters on power, P-O-W-E-R. We're going to prepare you to get going. We're going to give you an order for the backswing. We're going to give you width at the top and wind up. We're going to give you explode on the downswing, and we're going to give you R for release, P-O-W-E-R. So those are the seven Martins maxims. One more time. Number one, solid contact is your highest priority. That's where you get to judge distance from. Number two, use the least lofted club that will land the ball on the green. Number three, land it on a flat surface. Number four, swing the club on your shoulder line. Number five, the club face is always aimed at your target, even though your body may not be. Number six, see the shot in your head first. And number seven, the lie of the ball dictates what's possible. Now that is the philosophy of the short game. I've been teaching a long time, 38 years as a matter of fact, and during that 38 years, initially, I thought the most important thing in golf was to be able to hit the ball straight. I have changed my mind. Much more important it is to hit the ball solid. Now solid in this case would mean in the middle of the face and hitting the ball at the ground at the same time. It's no good hitting the ground back here and it's no good going sort of halfway up the ball. So I've got six points to help you strike the ball better off the ground. We're going to talk about the pivot, the pinch, the path, and then we're going to talk about the point, the plug, and the pace of your golf swing. Followed by that, I'm going to have 10 of my very best drills to help you hit it more solid. So let's get cracking and let's see if I can help you, Revolution golfers, to hit the ball a lot more solid as we go through this program. If I've got a cut, a band-aid's helpful. I take it off when I haven't got the cut anymore. Band-aids in your golf swing, not so very bad. This is where I'm going to talk about faults and cures. This is where Martin Hall takes on the Dirty Dozen. We're taking on the Dirty Dozen this afternoon. The slice, the hook, the fat, the thin, the sh -sh 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 shank, the heel, the toe, poor posture, poor setup with the right hip, bad takeaway, shaft tipper, and chicken wing through the ball. The Dirty Dozen. Now, these are going to be my best quick tips. These are quick tips. These are going to be my best quick tips after 38 years of teaching to get the car out of the dish, to stop the bleeding, to get you round tomorrow if you're playing in a corporate outing, or maybe you're just playing your best friend for a few bucks tomorrow morning and you've got a nasty slice or a nasty hook. You just want a couple of thoughts to get you round, get you in, and then at some point be able to practice. So we've got the dirty dozen, we're taking them on. Yes, it's all band-aids, it's going to be quick, it's going to be the point, it's what I do when people are struggling, it's how we get the car back on the road. Let's crack on. Well, the reason I made this DVD on power is, last year on the PGA Tour, the top five players in distance won $27 million and won nine times. The top five players in accuracy won $4 million and had no wins. Now, that isn't just a tour level statistic. Uh, Mark Brody has helped us understand, you know, from Columbia University, he's helped us understand that the distance you hit the ball is a huge factor in what you'll score. Now, you can't be long and horribly wild. You can't be a wild thing. You've got to keep it somewhere near the short grass. But the longer you hit the ball, potentially, the lower you are going to score. Now, here's the thing with distance. I don't think I've met a player who couldn't hit the ball farther. Maybe Dustin Johnson, <laughs> but you know, at a club level, Revolution golfers, I would say just about everybody can at least add 15, perhaps 30 yards to the distance. And it's a bit of know-how, and it's a few drills, and it's a bit of work. It is very achievable indeed for people to add distance to the drive.
every lesson I give, if I said, look, for your birthday, would you like another 10 years? Yes! <laughs> they won't even let me finish the question. Would you like another 10 yards off the tee? Of course they would. Everybody would. And then when they've had that 10, they want another 10. But the great thing is, there are loads of places you can look in the golf swing. From the grip, to the setup, to how you take it back, to how you bring it down. Each one of them can add two, three, four yards. So when you get six or seven things that can add three, four, five yards, well, it's a domino effect, you know, down, 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 down. Um, when you do that, Really, just about anybody can add far more distance than they think they might be able to. Well, the ball on the ground, you know, way, way, way back when I was doing golf schools around the world, we used to put the ball on the tee and make it easy for people to hit it. And that has its place for a beginner training wheels. But I found people could hit the ball quite well off a tee, half inch in the air, and you put the thing on the ground and, oh dear, it all turned to tapioca. So I realized there and then I better get a little bit better at helping hit people hit the ball off the ground. Now there's only two clubs you're not going to hit the ground with, I hope. One would be the driver and the other would be the putter. And if you're hitting the ground with those two, you are in a bit of trouble. But other than those two clubs, every other club between those, the putter and the driver, you've got to touch the ground. You might take a divot, you might just brush the ground. So 12 of your 14 clubs, you've got to touch the ground, vitally important. When I started teaching as an inexperienced teacher, I, and someone who'd been a fairly decent player, I thought the direction was more important than the contact. As someone who's now been teaching 38 years, I would now say the contact is way more important than the direction. I used to try and get people to do the impossible. I used to try and get them to hit the ball straight. Now I let them fade it a bit. I let them draw it a bit. But getting that smash, that beautiful, that beautiful smack where you get the ball and the turf at the same time and that, and the ball speed that comes from that. Everybody loves it. And, and that's what allows people to enjoy the game. People who hit the ball solid really enjoy the game. So that DVD, the one on the, on the full swing, is all about many, many drills on how to make that solid contact, that ball turf contact, how to squash the ball, how to smash the ball. That's all I've got. I think every play, hitting the ball solid is an ongoing maintenance program. We, we marvel at the ability of the Jordan Spieths, the Rory McIlroy's, the Adam Scott's, the Ricky Fowler's, but you know what? They don't hit everyone solid. You think they do? They don't. If you got them in a moment of total honesty and you said, do you sometimes hit it a bit thin, a bit off the toe, a bit off the heel? They'll say, yeah, yeah, I, I do actually. They may not appear that they do, but yes, they do sometimes miss it. So I think it's a permanent maintenance program. It's like diet, it's like exercise. So on this DVD, I've laid out 10 of my very best drills that you can use for your lifetime as a golfer to continually uh, recharge the batteries, as I would call it, just as you have to recharge your cell phone pretty much every night. I would say where solid contact is concerned, you've got to recharge that solid contract, otherwise your, 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 your golfing battery will die. We don't want that. Well, this short game video, uh, probably nearly about an hour long, I can't put 38 years of knowledge into 38 minutes of airtime. So what I chose to do was take what I thought were absolutely the most important parts of the short game, a philosophy, if you will, for the short game, to, an appetizer to really get going. We're going to be having other programs that go into far more depth in specific areas. But this, this short game video, we cover what I call Martin's Maxims. There's seven of them, seven musts from Martin that would give you a philosophy to choose what club to hit, what trajectory to hit it on, what's most important, what doesn't matter. We talk about what are what I think the four most important shots, which in fact are the pinch, the cut pinch, the lob and the cut lob. They cover every shot you'll ever have. We talk about how to hit those, where to aim, should you swing across your body, should you not swing across your body. I also get a little bit into steep and shallow. A lot of talk currently about you should be shallow not for everyone and there's a little test you can take to see if you should be steeper or shallower and of course we deal with putting we talk with bunker play and um, there's even a fluffy dog called Meg who makes an appearance for a very good reason a solid contact for me in the short game is the ace of spades the ace of spades is the most important card in the pack and in the short game 
solid contact is in fact the ace of spades. People say to me, how can you judge distance? Well, unless you make solid contact every time, you will never be able to do that. So lots and lots of drills, lots of drills on how to make solid contact on a consistent basis. Yeah, the false and cures, the dirty dozen false and cures. I've been teaching 38 years and I really have loved it. I feel I've never been to work in my life, lucky me. And I've seen golf balls travel in some very obscure directions, but I've distilled in this video 38 years of experience into probably one hour to just about give you every quick solution to solve bad ball flight problems and some bad moves with your body while you're on the golf course. Look, if we all had three or four hours to practice every day, we could all go for this swing of purity. We could all go for absolutely perfect. We could all try and copy Lydia Ko or Adam Scott. But a lot of us are working. We don't have a lot of time. So these are very quick bite side pieces of how to stop the slice. And you can think about this when you're on the golf course. Do A, B and C and your ball won't slice. Do A, B and C and your ball won't hook. You're hitting it fat. Well, then do this. That'll make that fat shot go away. You're hitting it out of the shank. Ah! Horrible. I've got a quick cure because they say actually on the golf course, the most difficult shot in golf is the shot after a shank. I agree. Well, I've got a really good cure for the after shank shot. So uh, covered really every miss hit I could think of regarding ball flight. In, in putting the dirty dozen together, I wanted things that people could do on the golf course on the 14th hole, the third hole. I wanted quick fixes on the golf course. I'm not against band-aids. Sometimes people say, well, band-aids, you're not building anything. Well, sometimes band-aids do stop the bleeding, and that's a very good thing. Now, I also put in this DVD things you can go and do on the range to really improve the motion. So there's a sort of two for one there. Things to get you round the golf course, things to get the car out of the ditch when you've driven off the road, but also some very solid material on things you can practice on the range. Some of them at home actually don't need to be at the golf course to help you hit the ball a lot more solid, a lot more often. Justin Tupper here, CEO and founder of Revolution Golf. I'd like to personally thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch our video with one of our newest and most experienced instructors, Martin Hall. As you can tell, Martin is extremely passionate about golf and helping players like yourselves get better. Now, before you go, I wanna tell you about something special that's happening next week. I recently spent a week with Martin and we didn't just film these great tips in the Build a Better Golf Game video series that week, we filmed over four hours of Martin revealing all the secrets he's developed from 38 years of coaching over 100,000 students, from weekend golfers to touring professionals. I can promise you haven't seen these before, and the drills and instruction will help your game immediately. By the way, this new training will not only increase your distance from 20 to 40 yards off the tee, make solid contact every swing, improve your short game by leaps and bounds, and fix all those nagging faults in your game, Martin is going to be doing four video training classes for you, live over the internet from the world-class club at IBIS in West Palm Beach, Florida. All four classes will be recorded so you can watch them again at any time online or download them to your computer. You'll be able to interact with Martin, ask questions, and see him demonstrating how you can improve every aspect of your game from the comfort of your home or your computer or out of the range with your mobile phone. Now, this is very important. Martin allowed us to film all these secrets exclusively for Revolution Golf. You can't get this training anywhere else. We're releasing a limited number of copies at an extremely discounted rate on Monday, August 8th at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. To make sure you can get a copy at the lowest investment, please make sure you're on the early bird VIP list below. We're going to allow everyone on the early bird VIP list to accept this opportunity a day before anyone else does and give them and you a special early bird VIP price. Plus, joining the early bird VIP list gives you the option to download all of Martin's Build a Better Golf Game series videos and live events this week in HD to view on your desktop or your smartphone. 
Are you on the early bird VIP list? Simply click on the yes, put me on the VIP list button below this video and check your inbox for the email confirmation from me, Justin Tupper. The subject line will be early bird VIP confirmation, build a better golf game, read now. If you're on the early bird list, be sure to keep your eyes open from any emails from me, Justin Tupper, with early bird VIP in the subject line. And get this, just for joining the early bird VIP list, you'll have the opportunity to enter our Build a Better Golf Game sweepstakes. We're giving away an all-expense-paid trip to West Palm Beach, Florida to be personally coached by Martin Hall, along with a custom set of Srixon golf clubs. Here's Martin to tell you all about it. Now hold on to your hats for this one. The grand prize for one lucky player is an all-expenses-paid trip from anywhere in the world to West Palm Beach, Florida to be personally coached by myself here at the club at IBIS. Fantastic. And get this, you're also going to receive a custom set of Strixon golf clubs, the clubs I use. And let me tell you about the day you'll spend with me. I'm going to meet you for dinner on arrival to discuss your golf and get to know you, so that should be fun. The next day, you've got Martin Hall all day. I'm going to be working with you one-on-one -on -one looking at your swing using high-speed video, launch monitor technology, 3D body analysis system, and the most sophisticated balance platforms available. Also, not to leave this out, an in-depth scientific look at your putting stroke with Sam Putlab. In short, all the equipment the top tour pros use to fine-tune their game, I'm going to use to construct a great plan to help you play better. And I mean much better. And then we're going to finish that day. What better way to do it than playing nine holes at the club at Ibis where I can help you on course, your strategy on course, your temperament on course. It'll be great. And perhaps even a cold adult beverage at the end of the day, if that suits you. How does that sound for a day? Now, that comes to a value of nearly $5,000. Yeah, that's right, $5,000. So there you have it. Wow. Now, that's a great prize. More information on how to enter our Build a Better Golf Game sweepstakes is in your confirmation email I just sent. If you don't find your early bird VIP confirmation email, please check your junk or spam folder. You should also add my email address to your email program, safe list or safe senders list, so my emails, including prize notifications, reach you. My email is rgdailyvideotips at e.revolutiongolf.com. That's rgdailyvideotips at e.revolutiongolf.com. Now, I know that's a mouthful, so we've put it on your screen for you. Now, once you've seen your confirmation email, read it to find out how you can win an all-expense-paid trip to West Palm Beach, Florida to be personally mentored by Martin Hall and a custom set of Srixon Golf Clubs. So once again, this is Justin Tupper, and I'll email you when Martin's next video tip or live streaming event is available. Remember, I'm going to be emailing you on Monday, August 8th, when we release Martin Hall's brand new video series with over four hours of training on distance, silent contact, the short game, and fixing your faults.